Hello guys, another build video. This time I will show you how I built my uh, Digibox. I call it Digibox. It's more or less a small computer, what I carry always with me. And on this computer, uh, the software is running for the digital mode. So GS8 core, what I uh, usually mostly use, is running on, res on this computer. Uh, can run FL Digi with lots of different digital modes, modes or also a WSJTX for FT8 for example or Whisper. Uh, it's all, uh, this, this is all working with, uh, with this computer and what I'm using is a Raspberry Pi Zero 2. This is very important. There exists lots of other models uh, from Raspberry but this is the correct one because all software is still running uh, uh, smoothly on this computer <coughs> and but it, uh, it, it runs smoothly of course on the Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4 but it, the old other models using much more power they're much more power hungry than this Raspberry Pi Zero 2 and this is important and there is only one uh, other version what I know of what this more or less the same like the Raspberry Pi Zero 2. This is the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus. This I'm using at home. This is a, a bigger board, it's not so small uh, form factor like the Zero 2. It's even better than the Zero 2 because the Wi-Fi, in my opinion, is a little uh, is, is better. Uh, so when you have the place, I would suggest use the Raspberry Pi uh, 3A Plus. But if uh, the form factor is important, uh, then the Raspberry Pi Zero 2. Uh, I made it in a, uh, showed it in a previous video. The Raspberry Pi Zero 2 uh, uses less than half the power than a tablet, than a Windows tablet. What I used before, before all these Raspberry Linux computers, I just used the uh, like a Julian. Uh, uh, Oscar Hotel Ezia Sierra Tango November, what he's using, a tablet, a Windows tablet also, it's a great idea. There are some advantages with this, in my opinion, but uh, also some disadvantages. The one disadvantage is uh, the tablet needs, like I said, more power, more, uh, more energy. Uh, the second, big, uh, for me, the biggest disadvantage is weight. Also, if you, if I, as for me, I'm carrying everything with me in my backpack, and every gram counts there. So I, all my other equipment, what I have, I take. Care, so I really look what I'm buying. I, I weigh everything, and every gram is important for me. Uh, so, and this Raspberry Pi computer. And this Digibox has maybe, I would say, I must uh, weigh it, I would say, maybe not more than 200 gram. I think even less. So I was completely wrong. I just measured it. It has 66 gram. 66 gram, this Digibox. And compare this with uh, a tablet. The Microsoft Surface Go 3 has about 500 gram, so half a kilogram. But you need to protect it with a sleeve. So you will have at least 700-800 grams minimum. My Surface Pro 6 has a with the sleeve about 1 kilogram. I think uh, lots of people could build something like this. You don't need a lot. You can just uh, uh, search for a GPS module. You, you not necessarily need a GPS module, but it's uh, it's it can be used to update the time automatically on the on the Linux computer, on the Raspberry. So, yeah, you can build the same even without GPS and set the time manual. There's another way, for example, how you could make this. <coughs> I'm using a Casio watch. What is solar powered and had, has a radio time uh, module built in. So I get the signal. It's not GPS, it's uh, via radio signal and uh, this is also uh, precise so I could, could just adjust the Raspberry Pi uh, in the field uh, 
I can just set the time what I see on my watch. <clears throat> this could be another solution. Or I just made a, I connected the GPS module. You could, I would see most of the modules that you can buy for, I don't know, 10 euro should work because they all put out a, a, serial, uh, a serial data. Serial data is fed to the Raspberry Pi. There is a serial port. You need only four pins, also ground voltage, usually 3.3 volt, what the Raspberry Pi is uh, supplying. And the two data lines, also data in, data out for the serial port. And then this, uh, you need the software for this who uh, uh, updates the time with the GPS time. <coughs> yeah, this is a, a bot software. I'm using uh, a modified version from KM6LYW. He has a great YouTube channel and he is uh, developing a software called DigiPi. And this is more or less a ready image for Raspberry, so you don't need to be a super Linux expert for this. You can download this uh, image. Only problem is you, this is a little bit, I mean, you can say it's a pay, a behind the paywall, but it's, you can uh, just uh, pay one dollar and you, you will get this image too. So, so DigiPi is called the image and, and this image is pre-built. You just uh, upload it to the Raspberry Pi and you have uh, most program programs uh, installed already. So if you are new to Linux, uh, I would suggest try this uh, image out. Uh, and this, this, yeah, it's, I'm for sure you need to fiddle around a little bit, so adjust this and that. Uh, yeah, but it's the easiest way I know. Uh, and uh, yeah, also in my case, I I connected the GPS module. It's a self-developed one, but like I said, you can buy a module on Amazon for 10 euro. I think you, you get something like this. And the se uh, the most important, the second thing, what I'm connecting to the Raspberry is just a step-down converter from higher voltage to 5 volt and my higher voltage because I want to connect also use the computer with the same uh, battery what I use for the TX500 that I can plug it in just and he's transforming my 12 volt down to a 25 volt this step-down converter this costs also only I don't know, some, some euros, under 10 euro you get uh, such a step-down converter. And that's all what you need. And then you have a computer where the software is running. And then you need to connect the sound card for the digital modes. In my uh, case, this is also built in my uh, expansion for the TX500, what I built. But you can, of course, uh, use a, a, a DigiRig Mobile. DigiRig Mobile or any other sound card and yeah and this is how you uh, make a very slim portable extreme lightweight extreme cheap version uh, for digital modes in the field so this is it uh, i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye